the next thing that I'd like to talk about is the farewell speech. And that's your last speech that you will submit. And it's an easy speech. It's just a short one to two minute speech. And essentially, you're bidding the class farewell. Also, what a lot of students like to do in that farewell speech is maybe go over some of the more important things that they learned this semester or during the eight week session. So the farewell speech, one to two minute presentation, you have a lot of freedom as far as the overall content. But the one thing that I really want to emphasize that I'm looking for in that last final speech is that the speech is structured. And so if you really look at this course and what we've learned, a lot of what we have learned has focused on how to organize and structure and prepare and outline for public speaking. And so structure, real important aspect of public speaking. In fact, when you look at public speaking, there are three essential elements. The content of the speech, that's the stuff that you talk about, your presentation style or the delivery of the information and the structure and the organization. And I think the structure and organization are crucial because you don't have to be the best speaker in the world and you don't even have to have the most interesting or compelling content. But if the audience can at least follow the flow and development of your ideas in a clear and logical manner, you're going to reach a high degree of shared meaning with your audience. So a lot of public speaking is just making sure that the audience can follow along with you as you're covering a particular topic. So structure and organization, real important. And after you're done with this class, when you have a public speaking opportunity, you know, maybe you're going to go talk to your kids, uh, teachers at a PTA meeting, right? Well, you don't go online, oh, where's the outline format for the PTA meetings? No, you're going to take what you learned in class about structuring and organizing a speech and you'll utilize that to prepare and then present your presentation or your speech. So what I want to see in that farewell speech, even though there's no set outline format, there's no assigned structural format that you have to follow for the speech, the biggest thing I'm looking for in that last speech is that there is a clear sense of structure and organization. So that means what I'm looking for in the farewell speeches, there should be a clear structure to the unfolding of your information as you deliver the particular speech. And so you want to make sure that you have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. Probably a good idea to begin the speech with some kind of attention getter that then leads us into your topic. If you're going to cover a couple main ideas or main points in the body of the speech, you want to preview those main ideas at the end of your introduction. And then in the body of the speech, let's say that you have two main points that you want to focus on. There should be a transition that takes us from one main point to the next. And you should have a conclusion where you summarize your main points, type back into your thesis statement and It'll really be impressive if you end your speech by referring back to your opening attention getter. So even though there's no set structural format, I'm looking at the farewell speech as more of a real world speaking opportunity where you have a chance to speak. Now, based on what you've learned in the class, you have to be able to organize and structure that speech. And again, it's a short speech, one to two minutes in length and very similar to your introductory videos that you did at the beginning of the semester. And really the big difference I should see there is in this last speech, there should be a clear sense of structure in the presentation and probably the delivery style in the presentation hopefully is better than when you began with that introductory video. But so for the farewell speech, you can take a lot of different uh, ways to focus on the content that you want to present but I'm looking for structure and organization in that final presentation. Demonstrate you know how to structure a speech in that farewell speech, all right? Okay, last thing that I wanna talk about today is the final assessment. That will be the last assignment that you do for the semester, and that's where you get to have a say in, here's what I think my letter grade should be for the semester. In fact, let's go ahead and get back on the Canvas shell and I'm just going to walk you through the questions uh, that you will be asked to answer on that final assessment. Let's go to the modules now. 
Okay, so now we're on the module page on Canvas, and here you see right here week eight. Here's your farewell speech that you'll turn in, and then your final assessment. Let's go ahead and click on that. All right, and this takes us to the actual assignment and submission page. So basically, this is a written assignment, and you have six questions that you're going to answer in the final assessment. And even though I, I originally intended for this to be a written assignment, I also don't mind if you want to submit this as a video where you're actually answering the question. So you can do it as a written assignment, or you can post a video for the assignment. But basically, you're answering six questions. And so first, tell me what you liked about the class. In fact, really two things I'm after in the final assessment. I want your feedback as far as what you liked and didn't like about the class. And I want to give you an opportunity to be able to negotiate for what you think your final grade in the class should be. So the first two questions, tell me things that you liked about the class and tell me things that you didn't like about the class. And here, make sure you're really specific. And two, let's just not worry about, I didn't like the class being online because we had no choice in that. I didn't like the class being online. I can't wait to get back into the classroom and face-to-face -face communication. But were there things that you didn't like about the class, didn't work, maybe some exercises, some of the content? So any feedback you can give me to help make the class even better, I welcome those suggestions, right? We're all learning. Then, number three, now here you want to reflect back on your goals for the class. Those were the three goals that you presented in your introductory video. And so here, basically, I want you to tell me how well you felt your, you met your goals for the class. Did you meet them? And when you're telling me you met your goals, try to use specific examples from the class to support that. And also, if you're applying those goals now and they're working for you, I'd love to hear about it. So in the third question, talk about how well you were able to meet your goals that you've established for yourself. That's going to have a big impact on your final grade. And then question four. This is a little confusing maybe to some. And so this isn't, I'm not asking you for what you think your grade is. I'm asking you to give a grade on the overall content of the class. Like, what kind of value do you place on what you learned in this particular course? And I think, at least from my perspective, I like teaching this class because you can take a lot of the stuff that you're learning and apply it immediately. So how valuable is that information? And, and really what I'm after here, just I, I don't like the grading system, the letter grading system. I just, I think it's a terrible way to evaluate students because what happens and a lot of you, you'll find this like in the class, you're taking a class online. It's not so much, okay, I want to learn everything I can about this subject. It's rather, okay, what do I need to do to be able to pass the class and get the highest possible grade, right? But later on, when you have a public speaking opportunity, you know, you don't go up and wave your little A around, right? Oh, I got an A in public speaking. No, what matters is what did you learn and are you able to use that information? So that's what I'm after when you're talking about what grade value would you place on what you have learned. Then number five, that's where you tell me, look, here's what I think my letter grade should be and why. And there are specific criteria to follow. So first, we already know that you determining your grade is really going to be based somewhat on your self-evaluation, right? How well do you think you met your goals that you established for the course? But second, there are also student learning objectives for the class, things that I want you to learn. In fact, last week I mentioned this. If you wanted to get an A in the class, you want to make sure in that final persuasive speech that your outline was done correctly. That's why with the few of you, like even though there were maybe just some little things to fix, like getting dates in your source citations or making sure that your transitions were clear, I wouldn't give you a complete until all that stuff was done because I want to make sure that your outline is perfect because I'm looking at that to determine your overall grade for the semester. You have to be able to know how to put an academic outline together and that also includes knowing how to insert your source citations 
into the text of the outline and into the, the delivery of the speech. So from my standpoint, I'm looking at the quality of your outline based on that last persuasive speech outline. I'm also looking at how well you incorporated your source citations into the outline, both in the written aspect, in the outline, and in the actual presentation. And then remember too, for the persuasive speech, if you want to get an A in the class, you need to maintain eye contact with the audience at least 50% of the time. And what I'm really after here is I want you to demonstrate that you practice your speech. Also, using your voice, vocal variety. And by the way, some of you are doing a pretty good job with vocal variety in terms of vocal variety within each of your sentences. I'll get some shifts in the rate and the volume in each of your sentences. But what some of you have done is then you kind of say each sentence the same way so that it takes away from the vocal variety. Rather, you want to make sure that each sentence, each line sounds a little bit different from the previous line. You're putting pauses in different places as well. So what I'm after in that persuasive speech, I want you to make sure that you're looking and speaking into the camera at least 50% of the time. What I'm really after is demonstrate that you have your speech down well enough that you're not completely dependent on reading your outline for the overall delivery. So to really get an A in this class, you need to show me you know how to practice a speech well enough so that you understand and are comfortable enough with the content so that you can look at your audience. In this class, you're looking into the camera so it looks like you're looking at your viewers at least 50% of the time. So when it comes to your final grade, we're looking at how well you met your goals as well as how well you met the student learning objections and or objectives. And also, I, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but here, if you look at the links on the left-hand side, see this right here, people, I can click on that. That tells me how many hours you've spent on Canvas and I can even look at that it'll tell me how many hours you've spent on each of the modules so when you're answering question number five and you're telling me i did as well as i could in the class then i look at your hours and let's say you've only put 10 hours into the class for the semester and i notice that you have no time watching any of the zoom recordings well does that tell me that you really tried your best to develop your skills in public speaking? Probably not. So realize too, you want to make sure that you're using integrity, that you're being honest when you're answering these questions, because I have a pretty good idea of how much you've spent working on your assignments. And I would much rather have you tell me that, okay, here's the grade that I deserve. And I got, no, I think your grade should be up here. Then you try to blow smoke up my ass and tell me, look, I just deserve to get an A. And then I see that you've only spent five hours in the class. So make sure integrity, integrity, honesty, when you're answering the question that goes a long way, not only in this class, but also in life. And last question, what can I do as an instructor to improve this course? So specifically this course online, obviously, any feedback you can give me, I appreciate that. And nothing you say here will affect your overall grade. You could tell me, Pop, you suck as an instructor. I can't understand half the things that you're trying to tell me. Cool. Put that in there. That tells me I need to work harder. I need to continue to improve and get better. So anything that you can tell me that helps me improve as an, inst as an instructor, I, I welcome that information. It has no impact on your final grade. In fact, you tell me something that I can do and I, oh, wow, I, I like that, cool. Subjectively, who knows, that bumps the grade up a little bit. We don't know. All right, so final assessment, last assignment, answer the six questions, turn those in. And remember, what I'm really after in this class is not your letter grade, but what did you learn and more importantly, how can you use that information to not only be successful in the rest of your academic career, but how can you take what you've learned in public speaking and make a difference in the world? 
Well, hi, everybody. I'm Greg Poff, director of the Solano College Sports Broadcasting Program, and we're here in the TV studio at Solano Community College, and I'd like to tell you about a great opportunity this summer. Now, typically with our summer class, we're covering sports because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We're opening up the class to all of you podcasters, YouTube influencers, to give you a chance to come in and create content that we can show on YouTube. You can have your own podcast. We can even put you on channel 28 locally. Let's take a look at some of the equipment we have here in the studio. Come on. All right, we're here in the Solano College Sports Network Studio Control Room to show you some of the equipment that you can use as a student here at Solano Community College. And the first thing I'd like to draw your attention to is the production unit system that we use. It's made by New Tech. It's the TriCaster system. This system is used by every major network. So you come to Solano Community College, you're going to learn video production on the TriCaster unit so you'll be ready to go once you leave our program. You'll be trained on the same equipment that you would use in all of the major networks. You see the video production board here. We've got our speakers set up here. Here we've got our interface that you can use. So all kinds of equipment that you can use to be a professional in media production. Another great feature of our video production system, you'll be able to get training on the Allen and Heath audio board where you will learn the trade secrets for both radio and TV production. Here in the video editing suite you will have access to Adobe Premiere and the entire creative cloud. If you can imagine it, you can create it right here in the Solano Community College TV studio. We have merged with Fairfield Cable Access and that gives you the opportunity to use the same TV equipment that they use to produce their shows on local TV here in Fairfield. And that gives you the chance to also show your work on local TV. College just got affordable. Up to 100% of enrollment fees can be reimbursed for first-time college students taking full-time classes. At Solano Community College, we are taking full advantage of this to further your future. With certificate and degree programs in industrial technology, aeronautics, biotechnology, and many others, Solano Community College is a staple for success. For more information, please contact the Financial Aid Office at 707 864 7000.